Hello everybody, it's Mick from Jester Bushcraft and today I just wanted to show you a little uh, project I've uh, been working on over the last couple of weeks and um, with the uh, winter months getting closer now the weather's not getting as good so uh, I wanted a little project to do uh, in my garage when the weather's bad plus I've, uh, I've been off for two weeks with a cough so I've not been able to get out so this has been something for me to uh, have a play around with and what it is it's a simple home solar system um, it's going to be an off-grid system and uh, initially it's just going to be for powering uh, various things in my garage so what I'll do is I'll uh, take you through what I've done so far and we'll uh, we'll take it from there right before I start going into the uh, complexities of the system um, I just want to make a little disclaimer I'm completely new to solar um, everything I've learnt is literally from YouTube and a company called Sunsprite Solar. A guy called Jack at Sunsprite Solar. He's uh, he's been helping me out. They've got a cracking website, really good, informative website. Loads of little uh, calculators on there for working various things out, uh, solar panel angles and things like that. And it's a really good website if you're just starting out. So I've gained a lot of information from that and I'll put a link down the bottom in the description but like I say I'm very new to uh, solar systems and things like that so if I've done anything wrong I do apologize it's a work in progress but um, it's basically just for me to get my head around the various components and how they work and uh, how I can power various items in my garage okay right well this is the heart of the system this is the main panel which I've uh, just completed this stage so far um, I've just got it mounted on the wall there in my garage um, the idea is to start off in the garage um, power a few uh, power tools uh, battery chargers, phones, things like that, some lighting, LED lighting and then eventually I want the whole garage to be completely off grid so that's me. Uh, that's my first goal so uh, I'll just take you through the various bits and pieces I apologize for the shadow um, see if I can get this best way. Right, this is the uh, charge controller. You can't see that very well, it's reflecting a bit. This is the uh, charge controller. Uh, you can see there I've got the wires coming in at the bottom here. This is coming from the solar panel, which is a 40 watt AKT monocrystalline uh, solar panel. And then you've got the connections to the battery here, which I'll show you in a minute. And then this is the load side of the charge controller, and I've just got my uh, my meter on there to keep an eye on uh, keep an eye on things. And you can see there the light saying that the uh, solar panel is charging. The one on the left, and the green light is the battery, saying that the battery is charging. Uh, so that's good. You've got a button there for various modes. So you can set the load to come off, come on and off. So if I just press that, you'll see the load lights come on, and that's just going through to my meter. But what you can do is you can set that mode button for the load, so you can operate lighting to come on uh, as and when you want for as long as you want. So that's quite a nice little feature. Um, I've got a panel of switches there. That first switch is just for the isolating the solar panels, so that's on. And these are going to be spare switches for maybe lighting or extra panels or whatever I do in the future. Up there I've got a fuse fuse panel. The top fuse is for the battery. The second fuse down is for the solar panel. And up at the top I've just got a blanking plate there. I'm going to mount a LED voltmeter up there. Uh, well, there's going to be room for two voltmeters. And then there I've just got a little chart saying uh, what stage the voltage is on the battery and what percentage of charge I've got so that's just a little reference point for me there so, uh, so that's the panel what I'll do now is I'll just uh, take you down the cabling comes down here comes down and those are the leads for the solar panel um, I've just got an isolator switch there for the battery bank um, it's not a DC isolator um, but it'll do for now it is it has got a fuse in there it's a 13 amp fuse but obviously it's fused up on the board correctly 
Um, this is just a temporary isolator switch. And then the wire goes down under the bench. And then you can see there I've got four 7 amp hour batteries connected in parallel, giving me 28 amp hours. And then it goes, there's a connection, I don't know if you can see that, there's just a connection block there which runs underneath. Right, it focuses to the inverter, I've got the inverter there, it's a four, uh, 400 watt inverter. 240 to 12, sorry, 12 volts to 240. And I've got a little surge protector uh, plug in there. It just made it easier for me to plug the uh, four gang socket in and not impede the switch, which I found was a bit of a design fault of the inverter. Uh, that then goes underneath, down underneath, and then here I've got a four gang socket labelled up there, 240 volt inverter supply and that's 400 watts max and now I can plug in my chargers for power tools and um, this is just a charger for charging up uh, the 7 amp hour batteries actually for another when I'm doing my CB I can charge up my 7 amp hour batteries on there as well so I can plug whatever I like in there and it'll all be running off the solar and what I plan to do is uh, fix some lighting, LED lighting and uh, possibly a few other items as well but that is the uh, the basics of the system so uh, let's take you back up now oh, there's the uh, there's the meter there which is just connected into the load just switch the load on and we can go down to the meter flick it on and that's up to 13.19 volts and I made a little note when I first switched it on it was at 12.7 volts and that was at 12 o'clock it's now half past 12 and the panel on a very dull day very dull and cloudy today it's already taken that up to 13 volts so uh, so that's good so I'm impressed with that okay so that's the initial part of my home solar off-grid garage project and there'll be uh, more updates to come. I hope you enjoyed that, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.